everyone, Teresa from Mandai Wildlife Group. Welcome to Singapore Zoo, where you can run alongside wildlife and connect with nature. In this episode, you will discover the importance of protecting habitats and the challenges that wild orangutans face due to deforestation. The orangutans in Singapore Zoo are ambassadors for their wild cousins, presenting a great opportunity for your children to make connection while learning about the threats faced by wild orangutans and other rainforest animals. We hope that the emotive connection will inspire them to protect wildlife and the environment. I will be introducing three activities that you can conduct on your own. These activities are designed to help your children gain greater awareness of threatened animals, to develop empathy for them through perspective-taking games, and to promote creativity and fuel imagination through role-playing. You should allow at least 45 minutes to complete all suggested activities. Take a 15-minute stroll to Orangutan Island to conduct the activities. To get to Orangutan Island, walk along the covered walkway past Aming Restaurant until you see Tram Station 1 on the left. Orangutan Island is on your right. Orangutan Island is the world's first free-ranging orangutan exhibit housing not just the orangutans, but also Asian small clock otters and pileated gibbons. This exhibit mimics a rainforest habitat where animals of different species coexist. Start your observation at ground level facing the exhibit. You can ask your children to point out the orangutans and ask about any other animals that they can spot. Activity 1. Who lives here? Get your children to observe the orangutans and their behaviour using the see, think, wonder, thinking routine. Say it like I do. What do you see the orangutans doing? They are resting, climbing, swinging, eating, playing with one another or with certain toys. What body parts do you think the orangutans use the most for climbing and swinging? Orangutans are the largest tree-dwelling animals. They need structures to climb and swing and space to rest and sleep. They also interact with one another or other species as they would in the wild. I wonder what activities they enjoy the most. Say it like I do. Let's watch them and move like they move. Can you imitate an orangutan that you are watching? What is it doing? How do you think that orangutan feels? What might it be thinking? Pick another orangutan in the exhibit. What might they say to each other? Encourage your children to imagine the kind of conversations going on in the exhibit if orangutans could talk. For example, the otters are going to swim again. Not me, I am resting here. And I like resting under this shelter. Foster empathy by discussing the emotions and behaviours of the orangutans. You can also share with your children that animals need homes with water, food and shelter to survive. Conclude Activity 1 Since orangutans are tree-dwelling animals, let's head up the viewing platform to see them eye to eye. Activity 2 What's happening to my home? In this activity, you can introduce threats and challenges that orangutans are facing in the wild due to deforestation by asking children to come up with questions they have about where orangutans live. Orangutans live in the rainforest. They spend most of their lives amongst forest trees where they find food, play and sleep. Orangutans sleep in nests that they build using twigs and branches. Say like I do. Imagine there is a big forest full of tall green trees where wild orangutans and many other animals live. Many trees are cut down by people to create farmland and plantations or to get land for buildings. This is called deforestation. The forest becomes smaller and animals lose their homes. Places where the animals used to find food, shelter, mates and to play are destroyed. Imagine waking up as an orangutan finding that all the trees are gone. What questions might you have? Where would I play? Where would I sleep? What would I eat? And how do I get around when there are no trees around? Continue to observe the orangutans at Orangutan Island. You can also discuss with your children why trees are cut down. Activity 3. How can I help? Let your children know that they can do their part to help fight deforestation by raising awareness. 
One way to do it is to design posters to tell people to support wildlife-friendly products. These products are produced in a way that's less harmful for the rainforest and the wildlife that live there. These posters can be showcased in school or shared with their friends and families. Discuss with your children what they would like to include in the awareness poster. Say it like I do! Let's help to protect orangutans in the wild by making posters about them. What information do we need? Let's find the information here at Orangutan Island. What should we tell people? You may wish to take photographs of the interpretive signage, exhibit and the orangutans to facilitate the activity back in the classroom. Wrap up by highlighting that apart from orangutans, many other rainforest animals are losing their homes and we need to do our part in protecting them. As you and your children continue your journey around the zoo, you can point out other animals that are facing danger in the wild. Read the interpretive signage to find out how Mandai has been helping these animals. You can click the link below which leads to our website that lists the animals in this zone. Check out the tip sheet for more resource links.